is I'm just making my bone broth and it is so cold but how cute is my workout set i'm obsessed i haven't been waking up to my alarm recently i don't know what's been going on but i've been either snoozing it in my sleep or yeah that's literally the only option because it's not been raining so i need to i i think that's a sign that's a sign actually that i need to get more sleep i went to bed at like 8 50 last night so pretty early so i don't know why i needed more sleep but I don't know. I guess it's just that phase of the cycle I'm in still, but I can definitely use a few more hours for sure. I'm pretty sure when women are on their period, they can use like 12 hours of sleep. I mean, I sure can uninterrupted and I feel so good. I forgot to put my earrings on this morning because I had to take them off because one of them was irritating my ear. Sometimes my ears get randomly irritated. They're pretty good with like if I don't wear real you know gold but sometimes i do get irritated every few months and then i just need to take my earrings out and um, when i sleep and then sometimes i'll even put like my real gold ones in to like help heal and then after that they're fine for a long time again but yeah so i took them out when i slept last night and i just forgot to put them back in i feel so naked without earrings like i'm always wearing my earrings but anyways joel and i are going to the gym this morning as per usual um it's leg day which is the hardest day of the week two of the hardest days of the week are leg days because it just requires so much effort <laughs> i sound so lazy guys but i swear i am <laughs> no i really am i really am if i want to be who i want to be in life and if i want to accomplish what i want to accomplish i need to put my lazy girl energy to the side because we can't be lazy actually we could be lazy there are days where you can very much well be lazy but I can't be lazy 24 seven or else I would never, um, you know, be able to live because I wouldn't make any money. I have been craving, honestly, like a vacation. I want to go somewhere for like a week, maybe Mexico, you know, and just chill, like just do nothing for a week. That would be so nice. Cause I feel like my body is like, I feel like I'm on like a timer and every so often like my body it like hits that point where it's like i need another reset to like do another full cycle if that even makes sense and you guys might be like oh what are you burnt out by you know you're a youtuber what do you do okay first of all i wake up at 5 a.m every morning even though i don't need to do that every weekday even though i don't need to do that it's something that i do to challenge myself and so that is like very challenging to do i work out every weekday i do this as a job which there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that you don't know about there's so much computer editing work etc and also i may have a couple side projects that i've been working on that that takes a lot of my time and takes a lot of work that you guys don't even know about so yeah i got a comment on one of my like last videos that said like oh you're a youtuber what are you burnt out by but no matter what job you do, even if it seems like the easiest job or the best job in the world, like you could still get burnt out and kind of like hit that point where you need a reset, you know? Anyways, wearing my bone broth. This is necessary for me to work out because I can't work out on an empty stomach, but I also can't work out if I eat too much. So bone broth is like a perfect medium for me where it still puts something in my stomach and like really good protein, but it doesn't make me feel sick at all from overeating first thing in the morning. So cheers to that. I'm gonna go get my stuff together and then we're gonna leave the house. We don't get angry, we don't get even. We don't talk about beef by the way that I mentioned, I just turned vegan. I need the pagans breathing so they can see my new top boy season. I need the pagans alive so they can all see that it's still my time. I see them outside and they ain't say nada Soon as you say on site We looking for you like some vintage Prada Looking for you like some archive pieces Jealousy in the ends They hate when you become successful But in the trenches we were all friends How long we trying to pretend I know they love to see me do well But only when it benefits them Is it about money or is it about girls Either way I'm threatening men See just text said diligent Yeah cause the outfit's making sense I told him it costs to be the boss And to be this fly is the same expense Most these brothers is tired and washed up, bro, but they won't admit it. How many? 
many times have I dumbed it down to make a boy feel like he's on my level? And I ain't talking about kettles, I ain't talking about precious metals. I'm talking about taking a year out, still I can't see no competition. Can't see anyone threatening my position. Told thee I need a chauffeur, cause I'm so driven. Should be in the back seat with both hands free. Right hand making plays on the iPhone, and my left hand gripping on the BB. It's me. Praise the Lord for the life I'm living. Big smoke records alive and kicking. Dinner in Milan with the finest women, and none of us sexing. Now I'm just chilling. Your taste level is my waist level. You ain't never heard of the wine I'm sipping. Heard you say. This year's your year, then you better hurry up, boy. Time is ticking. how cute my workout set is today it is from gymshark and they're actually the sponsor of today's video which is so cool to me okay i never get complimented on my um workout outfits i don't even remember once when i ever got complimented but today i walked out of the sauna and this girl did a double take on me and she's like oh my gosh i love your set and i'm like thanks girl it's from gymshark but that was such a sweet compliment and it's just so funny how once i put on gymshark i start getting compliments you know anyways i love it the fit is so nice and the material is butter soft you guys know i'm so 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 picky about what i wear to the gym i just think that the color on this is super cute and super different and i don't really have anything like this in my closet and i love it so much i love the one shoulder i've been wanting to get a one shoulder like workout top for a long time now and the fact that this is like a set is so cute and yeah these leggings are just so flattering and so is this top i love it it actually holds things in more than i thought that it would because it is like you know one shoulder but it does fit me super super well and holds everything in so i do have a special code for you guys to use if you want to shop on gymshark's website to get this set or any similar sets and my code is michaela so go click the link in my description to shop but yeah i'm actually obsessed and seriously they have the best workout sets and stuff and they also have a lot of cute stuff for pilates too they have a whole section on their website which is a sleigh because that's so in right now and everything is just so cute we love i'm definitely a gym shark stand here is my breakfast today i just did an avocado and a half with yams that i cooked in the oven on air fry setting and two poached eggs you guys know this is my favorite breakfast it's so good I have a cute set on right now because I want to feel motivated to clean the house I just need to do a big kind of not like a deep clean but a tidy and just reset everything because it's been bugging me for the past few days and all day this morning I was editing literally on my computer so I didn't have anything to vlog but I just uploaded the video so that's done I had to finish a second video and then submit that um yeah I also edited a short form video which is now up as well so I was doing a lot of work this morning but finally done it's 4 30 but I was like you know what for the last couple hours of the night Joel is out right now golfing so I have the house to myself and I'm like I don't know why but I prefer cleaning when I'm home alone just because I feel like it's easier since nobody's here so I can really just clean the entire house and I don't know it just my brain works like that but anyway so let's do a tidy of the house and for some reason when i clean if i'm wearing a matching set it makes me feel better and put my hair in a bun that's like cleaning mode activated for me yeah this is like more of like a pajama set to be honest but like she'll do the job because it is the evening and i do want to relax after this i also ordered the cutest duvet from urban outfitters because i've been wanting a more springy colored duvet i love my brooklyn sheets that i have on right now they're so soft and such good material but i feel like those can be my year-round sheets and i just kind of want something to spruce it up for the summer and the spring right now just to you know switch up the vibe so i'm so excited i'll show you guys that 
Actually, let me just show you right now because I've been manifesting a new duvet I swear I was trying to find like the perfect one and then Madison sent me a tiktok and she's like Oh my god, look how cute these are and it's like oh, That's exactly what I wanted. So anyways, such a slay moment This is kind of a bad picture of it, but this is the duvet that I ordered It was only like a hundred something so it wasn't too bad But anyways, yeah, so i'm gonna clean and I should probably take dawson on a walk when i'm done because we're babysitting him for the week He is joel's family's dog and he needs a walk. So it's beautiful sunny day today like how gorgeous and sometimes you know you just don't feel like going on a walk but you know you should get some fresh air especially when you like work out so hard in the morning you just don't want to do anything for the rest of the day like any physical activity but i feel like a walk is very low impact so it'll be fine and you want to walk don't you he also needs to eat so i'm going to feed him and then let's start cleaning the house here's a little close-up of this set how cute is it brandy mobile i swear they have the cutest things ever but everything they have is so tiny like this barely fits me guys like it barely fits my butt but she's so cute and i am obsessed i'm just in love with like floral patterns recently as i think everybody is but cottage to my core you know what i mean that aesthetic <laughs> anyways she is so cute and i'm just vibing with this little bow we love a cute little pinterest set moment anyways <laughs> just want to show you guys this closer up Okay, first things first, I'm going to clean the couch area just because it needs a bit of a reset refresh and then I'll work my way to the left of the house. So let's put this couch back together. I have this blanket here because Dawson has been laying here and I don't want him obviously like laying on our bright white couch without any protection since he goes outside and he's a dog. Yeah, I'm still gonna keep that on there just make it look a little bit more neat. <laughs> So this area over here, as you can see, <laughs> it's full of a bunch of just random stuff. So there's our recycling that I'll take down right now. But then I bought these plastic boxes in hopes that I would clean out my garage and organize everything, which I still need to do. It was supposed to be a spring cleaning thing. Well, it's still spring, so that's fine. But I just have been so busy recently. I haven't had the time to actually like organize my garage. So I just have kept the boxes up here, but it's really annoying having them here. And it's just like been aggravating me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this whole area because it's been like this for 
probably a month now or a few weeks and take the recycling out and just put things in the garage that need to go in the garage so that at least the boxes will be in the garage for when I'm ready to organize everything because I thought I was going to do it sooner so I was just leaving them there but yeah I do really want to use the boxes and organize my garage but that will happen whenever I have the time maybe next week or something but yeah definitely gonna do it soon but let's just clean this little area here you guys my room is just so much cleaner now that has been needing to happen for just so long now and i'm so happy that it's just a lot more clean i do want to do like a huge closet clean out so like go through all my drawers and get rid of stuff and just reset this completely i will do that eventually maybe in like a month or so or maybe even next week we'll see but yeah for now it's perfect and it's so much better than it was My goodness you guys i just finished tidying cleaning the house the mental clarity i feel like that feels so good and also the fact that it's seven o'clock right now or even later yes past seven and it is sunny outside still the sun hasn't even set yet it's like beautiful rays coming into the house this is just amazing and it makes me forget how good spring and summer is because i got so used to the colder darker months that i didn't even realize a season could be this good like the fact that it's so bright and it's just like brings so much happiness and like warmth and beautifulness into the house especially around this time don't get me wrong i love myself a nice cozy day from time to time when it rains but overall it's like the sun brings such good vibes and the fact that my house is just clean now i've been wanting to do this clean for so long now even though it only took me like a few hours it needed to be done i'm glad that i carved time to do that today but now i don't really have that much time to relax this evening which kind of sucks but it's fine i'd rather have the house clean than have extra time to relax tonight just because it has been in the back of my head like i hate i hate being in a messy environment so it feels so good not that it was even that bad but it still bugs me but anyways joel just finished dinner he put chicken wings in the oven for us so we're gonna have that with a salad i'm not even that hungry i don't know why i had like a bigger lunch but i'm still gonna force myself to eat a bit because i know I should be eating dinner so just gonna make a salad right now and then we're gonna have the wings i also just got an amazon package i actually ordered a pair of earrings because i wanted a new pair of like gold tubes these are like my bigger ones but i wanted a new pair of like my medium slash small ones so let's 
see. Oh my god, okay, they're perfect. This is exactly like the size that I was going for. Let me show you guys. I don't know if you could see. They're like the perfect little everyday hoop. This is exactly what I needed. It was just a new everyday hoop. You could see the size difference between these. I don't like wearing, obviously, these on a daily basis. They're just a bit too big for me and they're too chunky i like wearing these when i wear my hair up yeah my other small ones i didn't really like they were getting like tarnished because they're not real but these are not real either but honestly they last me a while i spray them with um this clear coating so it makes them last a long time the other ones lasted me like six months so hopefully these will last me another six and they're the perfect size i love i'm gonna put these in at night and these will be my new daily wears my ear is feeling a lot better um, but anyways i'll have these linked down below because they're the perfect everyday chunky hoop i love myself a nice hoop exactly this size but i love when it's chunky i do have second piercings i got them in like seventh grade <laughs> but they closed you could still kind of see the hole but it, it like goes in the front and then it doesn't go through all the way which is fine i can always get them re-pierced if i want to but i never use them or want to use them anyway so maybe i'll get them re-pierced in the future so one day i do want to invest in like good quality like because i know these would be a staple that i wear every single day so honestly maybe i should do that soon like invest in a good quality pair of gold hoops like this because i know that i'll wear them all the time and that will be a really good investment in gold just in general i feel like so babe how much would a gold like a real gold hoop be 400 bucks for a pair yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Well, and they last you forever, but you're gonna probably lose it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I do lose my things. Especially one time I was at Disneyland guys and that's I okay, I had the perfect hoops, but they they weren't real, thank God. I was wearing them and they flew off my ear at Disneyland and never saw the other one again, which I was really sad about because they are from the perfect hoop. These are from the perfect hoop hoop as well and yeah i was so sad to lose them because those were my daily wears but it's okay now i got these so it's fine but anyways that's a little haul I'm gonna eat dinner now look at the sun it's so pretty i'm obsessed can you make a salad oh you don't want salad <laughs> Here is the final dinner. I got my sparkling water with lemon, of course, with lots of ice, and then my little ranch with my chicken wings and salad. Just a nice, quick, easy dinner, lots of protein and healthy. So we're gonna watch our show and eat our food. I am so cozy right now. We finished dinner and I just have the heated blanket on and I'm watching Vanderpump Rules. Nothing better than relaxation time. Joel and I are watching this prison show on Netflix together actually where they do this prison experiment. They let the prisoners free, not free, sorry, not free in the world, but like free in the prison without guards or anything out of their cells to see if they can like form a community and behave and whatever. Anyways, it's pretty interesting so far and we've been watching that together, but my show is Vanderpump pump rules as you guys know if you have not gotten into it okay it's such trash tv it's reality tv which is basically just it's drama whatever but for entertainment and just taking my mind off of anything it's the way to go <laughs> the first season i almost quit watching it because i just couldn't get into it but as soon as you get past the first season it gets so good like in the middle of season two to season three like that's when you'll start to get hooked so you just have to get through the first season i promise like you just have to get through it and i'm on season six already and i think there's 11 seasons so i'm about halfway through and it's just so good i just can't believe the stuff that happens on the show was actually mind-boggling and yeah it's just the most entertaining thing ever and i watch it on hey you but hey you actually sucks like it's always glitching it's not saving my timestamp on the episode etc but it's like the only place that i can find it on and it's only like six dollars a month so whatever but that's where i watch it but i have a little chocolate for dessert tonight i have such a sweet tooth i always need something sweet after my meal so i just have 
piece of chocolate my little dessert for tonight i haven't been making many desserts i just realized lately i used to be in a dessert kick or i was in a dessert kick and i have not been in a dessert kick like actually making desserts in a while oh my god that reminds me i need to freeze those bananas i just haven't i don't know maybe just because i was in like my winter cozy era and making desserts now it's like a different season but also one thing that i've been really trying to do recently is being present in the moment because i saw some content creators talking about it and i can relate to it so much where it's like doing this as a job you kind of combine your life with your work and it's really hard to like find the line between the two sometimes when i'm out or doing something i always am thinking about making content out of it i don't know how to explain it like it's hard to explain if you're not a content creator but every single thing it's like i feel like i'm taking a photo and i'm filming and that's why i like to have dedicated days saturday and sunday where i don't film usually and i know you guys requ requested a weekend vlog some of you but honestly i just need to separate that sometimes you know and be present in the moment and do things that are not filmed in my life and off of camera i mean this job is sharing my life which is what i do but at the same time it's hard to shut it off i'm watching a show and then my mind is like thinking about con like i don't even know how to describe it like i cannot shut it off like on the weekend i'm just constantly thinking about what videos i can make blah 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 and it's like an endless cycle people who work for yourself you know what i'm talking about because i feel like if you're like an entrepreneur and you have your own business or whatever it is it never shuts off because you're your own boss so you feel like you can always be doing more so i've been trying to work on like that aspect of my life where I'm just trying to be super present in every moment and not having to think about making content out of it or work i obviously love what i do would not treat anything for the world this has been my dream for so long but there obviously are struggles with everything you do in life so that's like something that's been on my mind recently that i really want to you know work on more and stuff currently 8 17 i'm probably gonna get to bed within the next half hour i just love my couch time you guys just so cozy i love my place like i love it so much and we're so happy here after moving back from europe we realized how much we prioritize having like a home base and we just thrive off of this i love it so much i'm such a homebody any day i'd rather stay home than go out i saw this tiktok and it was like i need i actually reposted it but it was like oh i need one day a week at least to just rot on the couch and that is so true though that's usually my saturday is i'm rotting on the couch sometimes i have that rare occasional thing i need to do or plans or whatever but usually the saturdays are my rotting days where i just wake up whatever time do whatever i want no expectations whatsoever and it's amazing i feel like you need at least one day a week where you just don't do anything you just don't have any plans you just go with the flow and it's so good and then it honestly re-inspires me to get prepped for the week because i get super bored and i'm like oh my gosh like it just inspires me because then i think of cool things to do and content ideas and etc but yeah it's definitely necessary that you take like at least a day to do that or else you're gonna burn yourself out but anyways i'm gonna continue watching vander pump rules i know i can't stop talking about it, but it's so good i've also not been in my reading slash book era and i want to get a good book i want to start reading like a new kind of self-help genre like i like books that are about manifestation and all that kind of stuff like spiritual books or like i really liked atomic habits stuff like that let me know any recommendations in the comments if you guys have any or just books in general because i have not been in my book era i've been in my vendor bumper rules era. i feel like i go through phases with everything so it's just ebb and flow but anyways i'm gonna continue watching i love you guys and i will see you tomorrow oh my gosh this is just the coziest like look at me right now this is just life at its finest for me right here melting into the couch are you kidding me oh my goodness this couch was like the best purchase of my life i swear <laughs> guys look at how cute he is all curled up in my little floral sheets on the couch oh he's so cute <laughs>
All right, you guys, I just made my smoothie and I'm gonna go up and take a shower after I drink this. But my workout set is from Gymshark once again. How cute. These are their three inch shorts with this literal butter soft sports bra. These pieces will be linked down below as well, but so perfect for the infrared heated workout because they're such like good soft material that when I sweat through them, I don't get uncomfortable or anything. So obsessed and so cute. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna drink this. This is the salted caramel flavor and it's so good. Cheers to Friday. I'm so happy. Also that Matt Pilates class on a Friday, it just always hits different. I love the instructor and also getting a good sweat in last workout of the week is just the best thing ever so so happy it's friday hey guys so i just got myself ready for the day my hair sleek back again because it's super greasy i need to wash it maybe tomorrow or something but i'm so happy it's friday it's just good vibes today the sun is out i really hope our spring continues like this but i think i'm getting a bit of skin allergies because whenever this time rolls around the spring everything is blooming last year i had it so bad i had such bad skin allergies like my face gets red and itchy and it's almost like eczema but worse because it goes everywhere and it just i don't know it's super weird but i got a bit of that this morning and my neck was super itchy but it's doing better now anyways this is my little outfit of the day i got on this top from brandy and then my sweatpants are from garage and then i'm just wearing my adidas with it but we're going out now because we need to get groceries from costco we get specific things from costco all the time and so we need to restock of those things and then we also want to go to home sense because i want a mirror for this level here here so that when I put on my shoes and get ready to leave I can like see my whole outfit because we don't have a full-length mirror down here yeah I've been wanting that for a while now there's like a perfect spot over there I'll show you guys in a second but that's the plan for today I was just doing some editing this morning for some short form content and also finishing up my video for this weekend but I think I might have to continue editing tomorrow because I have still a lot to do I have been debating like getting somebody to edit for me maybe my short form or i don't even know just because now that i'm posting twice a week it's a lot on my plate if i want to keep up with all the platforms and also create the content at the same time so we'll see but that's the plan for today the sun just makes everything so much better it's amazing <laughs> Just got back from home sense and costco this is the mirror that we got here it is but i don't think we like it joel thinks that it looks too cluttered and needs to go on the wall but even then we don't know also i don't know if i'm vibing with like the dark easily returnable so it's not that big of a deal but i think she's definitely gonna be returned it is nice though having a mirror here so you could see your alpha before you go because the coat closet is literally right here so that's nice but i don't know let me know what you guys think and what we should do but i think she's gonna be returned anyways it was a thought that counts let's do a little rapid fire what i got at costco i basically get like the same things every single time we go i got two egg cartons we love getting our eggs from there because they're organic and they're just like the best deal and there's a bunch so we stock up on two of these every single time we go we probably go averaging around once a month i would say then sometimes they have smart sweets sometimes they don't but thankfully this time they did so i got some smart sweets because it's the best deal getting them at costco these are the tropical ones they only had one kind and then i just got some garlic powder to restock because i have like none left and we got some organic coffee beans it comes in like bulk and then we got some tuna it's good protein just for like a snack and then i love getting my dates at costco these are organic dates and these are like the best even having these with like have you ever tried dates with butter in the middle it's so weird but i swear guys it's so good or even dates with peanut butter and chocolate chips these are just so good and i use them to sweeten like nut milk with and then I just got some of this mayo to stock up on because this doesn't have any additive bad oils it's made with avocado and at costco it's the best deal we use mainly these for everything and then we just got a huge thing of six um coconut milks just because i always use these in my recipes and stuff and then last thing we got is just this butter i usually get the organic one but they didn't have any organic selection today costco's sometimes weird like that and then as we were about to leave we noticed the celsius's and so we got a huge pack it was only 30 dollars, so that's a sleigh we love our celsius's i don't really drink them often but that odd time that i want one it's nice to have like stock of them so we don't need to stop and also so Joel really likes them too. So that is the Costco haul. These are actually, I think, new to Costco, which is nice. I put this all away and then I have to do some work today.
I am just finishing up editing for today. It is currently 5 11 and Joel and I kind of want to get going with our night because we have a date night every Friday. Get takeout, watch a movie, or do something together Friday. Friday nights are dedicated night. Spend with each other unless like there's some event going on obviously but we try to have a little cute date night once a week and it's something to really look forward to. Friday nights are probably like my favorite day of the week. Love myself a good Saturday moment because that's still good but I feel like Friday it's just you have so much ahead of you like exciting for the weekend as much as i were trying to romanticize the weekdays there's just something about a friday that hits different friday always has good energy but anyways i didn't even finish editing my video today i have been working at it but since we went out to costco and did a couple errands i couldn't fully finish i could work an extra hour but we want to go on a walk like we just want to get going and i'd rather just finish it tomorrow i really don't like doing work on Saturdays because I really try to give myself a dedicated weekend since when you work for yourself it like I was already explaining before it's hard to set a boundary between your life work-life balance because you could be working all the time practically so I really try to make Monday to Friday my work days and take off the weekends but sometimes it's like this week I'm posting twice a week and I also now am editing our podcast so that takes a good chunk of my time too and I haven't even edited that and that's going up Monday morning so I still need to finish this video get it uploaded make the thumbnail prep it and all that and then I also need to edit our podcast get it up blah blah do all that so I honestly still have a lot of work to do so I am going to be working this weekend but it's not the end of the world like it's just what's gotta happen and it's work that I love so I'm not gonna complain about it but I do wish I finished everything before Saturday but it's okay I can do maybe half and half Saturday Sunday do a little bit of work each day so it's not the end of the world but anyways I'm gonna end today's vlog off here I honestly can't even make vlogs under 20 minutes anymore because I feel like they're just not finished and ever since I started making longer vlogs, I just can't stop myself because it's just, I don't know, just so much better. It's more of like a story rather than, I don't know, 10 minute vlogs I don't vibe with. I don't like when people post 10 minute vlogs just because I feel like personally as a viewer, it's too short. And I love myself a good long vlog. And it's also like you guys get to hang out with me more, you know what I mean? Anyways, I'm going to end off today. I'm going to probably take a shower, wash my face, get cozy, and we're going to have date night. So happy Friday, guys. I hope you have the best week ahead of you. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Go listen to my podcast and give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see more videos like this and comment anything down below so I can talk to you guys and we can chat. Bye, guys. Love you. Thank you.